Hi, Abby. This is Dr. D. I'm looking at your third problem in M3A1, and I notice that you're a little off up here in your counts for the uh, gender and brand problem. And I think I know why. I'm just going to click in that table to open up the pivot tables over here, and you've got brand preference as the column, which is OK. You've got gender as a row, which is OK. And then you've got sum of respondents, and that's the problem. I want to click on that, open up value field settings, and instead of the sum, we're going to use the count because we want counts. I'm going to click OK, and it updated the data. Now you've got the correct values, and that updated all of your probabilities over here, which you have correct, except you should always format to make things more understandable. I'm going to set these all to the three decimal places that the problem asks for. And now you've got the answers for the conditional probabilities and the uh, all the probabilities you need. You did the test for independence correctly. It's not independent because these two values the probability of female times the probability of fast is not equal to the probability of female and fast. So you did it correct. Just be careful to make sure when you're doing these sorts of things, you're using either count or sums or averages when you set up your pivot table. Hope this helps.